Hi, welcome to another Johnson Automotive video. In this video, we're going to just take a few seconds to talk about brakes. You yeah, everyone thinks you go to the store and you buy a set of brake pads and they all start out the right, exact same thickness, right? Wrong. Just like in this example here, uh, we have uh, some that are greater than uh, 12 millimeters, almost 13 millimeters on this one. And let's see here, this one here is about 10 millimeters. And this one here eh, is uh, closer to about 10, 10, 11 millimeters. All just different thicknesses. Uh, you just have to take my word for it. Uh, I have seen differences anywhere from about 8 millimeters all up to about 12 millimeters. All brand new, and that's just the surface. Then on top of that, you have what kind of material are they made out of? Some are organic. Organic, yeah, dirt, clay, mud, sort of kind of, yeah, that's what it's made out of. Um, Semi-metallic, you have different kinds of metallic, different uh, quantities of metallic level. So just because you think you're getting a bargain brake pad, uh, yeah, sometimes you get what you pay for. Um, also, brake rotors, um, nice, shiny, look like metal. Well, I will tell you that brake rotors are not made of the same material they were not even 10 years ago. And uh, although I discourage it, uh, sad manufacturers have designed brake rotors so that they may not be turned. They were never intended to be turned. Uh, matter of fact, more and more manufacturers are going to that in two ways. One, in design of the rotor that they're not able to be turned. Too much chatter uh, is caused uh, by the bits through the design of the metal and the rotor design. Uh, and also, you have to remember you're talking about taking something thicker, making it thinner, and heating it up and expecting it not to warp. Uh, so that's, uh, that's enough said about that. The last quick second, I just want to take a second and talk about brake flushes. Not everyone is aware of it. If you do research, you will find that they cause brake fluid absorbs moisture. It's what they call hydroscopic. And what it does is it corrodes on the internal metal parts, uh, calipers, wheel cylinders, and yes, ABS controllers. Everybody likes ABS. But when the controllers get corroded and the valves hanging up, yeah, that's when one wheel is hanging up. I've had numerous people come in, hey, I've replaced all the components on my vehicle, new pads, new rotors, new brake calipers, and I still got one wheel that pulls, I got new hoses on it. What could it possibly be? Yeah, well, in some cases, it can be that the valve in the ABS controller is hung up, and that's what's causing it to pull one way or another. Also, believe it or not, brand new brake pads can cause a brake to pull from one side to the other. You know, it can always pull to the right side and all it can simply be is a brake pad. That's why you should have a professional install quality, the correct parts, designed exactly for your car. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.